Here are some ideas and activities to do using the multiplication decks. There are nine multiplication decks. In each deck, there are 53 cards with five categories, including the numeral or product, the dot groups, the arrays, the words such as one group of three, some of the other decks might say three rows of something or five piles of something or stacks of, and the expression cards or the fact cards, as well as eight zap cards. Some of the games ask students to remove the zap cards. Other games include the zap cards. The younger students, such as first and second graders, can use these cards without using the expression or fact cards, unless they've already learned that. You can create decks of 24 cards using the other four categories with the first six cards from each category. To use the mat that has the 24 spaces on it, you could create the decks by just pulling out the first six, like three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18. And you would pull those out, remove the higher ones, and then do the same with maybe just one of the other categories. Or you could create a deck with four of the categories. You could make smaller decks. Maybe you would just use the numerals and maybe just the dots and have them play Top It or War or Memory. For students who have been exposed to the expression or the facts, you can include these in the decks. To see the directions and videos of the games students can play, go to the Ideas tab and choose Games. The booklet in the kit also has ideas in here and shows how to play the games. Students do not need to have a game mat, but if students are using the smaller game mats that go with the game decks A through J, you can use the multiplication decks and just use four categories and the first six cards in each category. So they can use the game mats that have 24 spaces on them, so you could choose four of the categories. Students can also easily learn to set up their own array, either a 4x6 array or a 4x9 array, to play the games. This will make more sense after you have explored the games page. The video, How to Use the Sequencing Sets, shows how to use the numerals from the multiplication deck and how to use these in the sequencing activities. The video, How to Use the Game Decks and Multiplication Decks, gives you additional information. And the lesson plans give you ideas on how to get started with the decks. So, have fun and enjoy!